Bad breath, also known as halitosis or feeder oris, affects an estimated 25% of people, globally. There are a number of potential causes of halitosis, but the vast majority come down to oral hygiene. Halitosis can cause significant worry, embarrassment and anxiety but, generally, it is relatively easy to remedy. Bad breath is estimated to affect 1 in 4 people globally. The most common cause of halitosis is bad oral hygiene if particles of food are left in the mouth, their breakdown by bacteria produces sulfur compounds. There are a number of common causes of bad breath, including smoking, tooth decay, and alcohol consumption. Keeping the mouth hydrated can reduce mouth odor. Bad breath in children is often due to a trapped item in the nasal cavity. Rarer causes of bad breath include bowel obstruction, cuticidosis and aspiration pneumonia. The best treatment for bad breath is regular brushing, flossing and hydration. Crash diets can cause bad breath because of the buildup of ketones. Potential causes of bad breath include tobacco, dry mouth, dental hygiene, crash diets, drugs, mouth, nose and throat conditions. Foreign body, bad breath, especially in children, can be caused if they have a foreign body lodged in their nasal cavity. Diseases, some cancers, liver failure and other metabolic diseases, can cause halitosis due to specific mixes of chemicals that they produce. Gastroesophageal reflux disease can cause bad breath, due to the regular reflux of stomach acids. Rarer causes of bad breath include Cuticidosis, when the insulin levels of a person with diabetes are very low, their bodies can no longer use sugar, and begin to use fat stores instead. When fat is broken down, ketones are produced and build up. Ketones can be poisonous when found in large numbers, and produce a distinctive, and unpleasant breath odor. Cuticidosis is a serious and potentially life-threatening condition. Bowel obstruction, breath can smell like feces if there has been a prolonged period of vomiting, especially if a bowel obstruction is present. Chronic kidney failure, an odor similar to ammonia, or urine has been noted in patients with chronic kidney failure. Waste products normally removed by the kidneys are left to build up in the bloodstream. Bronchiectasis, a long-term condition where airways are wider than normal, allowing for a buildup of mucus that leads to bad breath. Aspiration pneumonia, a swelling or infection in the lungs, or airways due to inhaling vomit, saliva, food or liquids. Here is a recipe that will sort thing out immediately. Ingredients needed. 1 half a teaspoon of powder cinnamon. 1 half a teaspoon of honey. 2 lemons. Preparation 1. Put the cinnamon and honey in a bowl, and pour them with a cup of hot water. 2. Stir until the honey melts, and then add the lemon juice. 3. Stir it all well again, put it in a glass jar with a covering, and then store it in the fridge. 4. Gargle your mouth cavity with this mixture and swallow. 5. Repeat the procedure whenever you think it's necessary. Effects. Cinnamon and lemon will disinfect your mouth cavity, and kill the bacteria, which cause unpleasant smell, and honey will contribute to a better taste. Besides the fact it will solve the problem of bad breath, this mixture is an excellent fighter against viruses and colds, because it strengthens the immunity, and has an antioxidant effect.